Well, in 1990, or late 80s actually, um, I met with uh, Brian Geisen, who was living in Paris. Keith introduced me to him. And so I wrote an introduction to his catalog for his last show, and then uh, he talked to me about, Will to William about me. So William came to Paris, and uh, there I met Burroughs. And then the Whitney Museum were doing an artist and writer series. And they said, why don't you pick a writer you want to work with? So I said, I'd like to work with Burroughs because I like his concept of cutting up, and I like works with my idea of cutting up historical uh, sort of thematic concepts. So uh, my friend, William Burroughs' literary agent, I remember we were at a payphone and when you used to have payphones. So he called William Burroughs and he said, I got George here on the phone, he wants to talk to you. I think you should work with him on this project. So he said, all right, William's on the phone. So I pick up the payphone and talk to Burroughs. And uh, he said, okay, come to Kansas. So I went to see him in Kansas where he lived. And uh, we started painting together. And the best part about it was listening to his descriptions. If you made a brush stroke or you put some paint on, even if it had no resemblance to anything, the way he could describe things in words was really fantastic. That was the best part. We didn't really care what the paintings looked like, it was just the act of doing it that was important.